Hello, welcome to the Sewing Circle. My name is Leslie and this is my channel. Welcome, welcome to friends and subscribers who keep returning every time I post to my videos. I appreciate you so much, welcome. And welcome, if you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. This is a Sewing Circle where I share my makes and my inspiration, my upcycles and my adventures. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. Hello. So my husband and I just had our 13th wedding anniversary. We just got back from Calistoga, California in the Napa Valley where we enjoyed a few days and nights there. I was so excited to go there. They are known for the Calistoga Springs, which is the hot mineral springs, and their mud baths. So my husband and I did experience that. It was quite an experience, and um, I highly recommend trying it at least once. The mud was a little overwhelming, but afterwards I felt so relaxed actually for a couple of days. Very relaxed and chill from that experience we had a great time but one of the places we went while we were there um was this little shop where i got this little bag i want to show you um the shop is called mad mod shop um and the lady that owns it's named andrea um i'll pop a picture of her up here um she was such a delight and um, as you can see in the picture she is wearing this necklace which i purchased from her shop she, every year my husband tells me for my anniversary while we're on a trip i need to pick out a piece of jewelry and usually i get like um a stone or something very um minimal i have several different rings that I've picked out while I'm with him and necklaces and things but um, this time I picked something very different because Andrea who was wearing this necklace and I thought it was so adorable on her and it reflected her shop so much I wanted to remember her um, so first thing that one of the other things I bought was um, this mad dressmaker bag um, it is a, a market bag and it's origin is part of the Bangladesh project which basically it's to help the Bangladesh women retire and be able to live a prosperous life so this was such an adorable little bag it holds 100 pounds it has leather handles super cute but um, I want to pop a little video of the little shop there because Andrea makes her own patterns and clothing for her shop it's very unique it's very costume and cute, and I don't even know the right words for it, but um, I loved her shop and had such a great time there. I also want to show you what else I got at her shop. I got adorable little package that she tied up for me and inside are these cute little strawberry earrings I just saw these and I just had to have them aren't they so cute um, and I feel like they kind of go with my necklace and the vibe so um, if you ever go to Calistoga be sure you go and check out the mad dressmaker she has Alice in Wonderland in her shop and it's just so so inspiring and enjoyable and if any of you know me you know I collect a lot of things Alice in Wonderland and um, I have a lot of my Disney teapots here in my sewing trailer and um, so yeah I really enjoyed that shop I really enjoyed Andrea um, the other thing other place we went was an antique store and I want to show you what I got at the antique store I haven't even opened these since I'm home but um, forgive the rattly rattly paper but the first thing I bought was this adorable antique mouse now she holds a pair of scissors right here and the scissors the handles become like her glasses and then there's a hole in the back 
and out the top of her package is a hole for you to pull your thread from so she can sit and you have easy access to your scissors and your thread. I got her and then they also had the other two little things in the antique shop. The next one is a little baby mouse pin cushion. These are so cute. They reminded me of Cinderella's little mice um, that helped her make her beautiful dress. And I just thought this is going to be a wonderful addition to my sewing trailer. And then this little mouse is a tape measure. <sighs> Isn't that adorable? Anyway, the three of them together just make a little set and I'm going to have to pick where I'm going to have them in my sewing room, but I'm so excited to find them. They're from 1960 and just adorable. Let me know if you know, did your grandma have one of these sets or anything? So that was my trip. Those are the things that I picked up along the way. Um, I have been getting some sewing done for my December cruise and I'm so excited it's my first cruise I've ever been on um, I was super inspired to make a cord set um, and I was thinking a white cord set would be so cute something really um, kind of has a ship vibe something I could carry a cute bag with and just have it be very casual and uh, comfy and cute and I went to the thrift shop and I found this gorgeous textured um, shower curtain in white. And I thought it was so pretty. So this is what I've been working on. This is the shower curtain fabric. And um, see how beautiful it is? Textury, kind of cotton, a poly cotton, um, a little bit thick, um, but not too heavy. It's really comfortable. And I had picked out um, this top, like I wanted the button up, like view A for the top and these pants for the bottoms. And um, I made B view D and I want to show you how they turned out. So this is the top. I picked a uh, wooden buttons for the top and um, used a little uh, piece of cotton sheet that I had picked up thrifting um, for the lining just to add a little bit of pizzazz. I am going to be adding my tag to these because I always tag my clothes that I make and I made these pants to go with it. I've got the elastic waist with a drawstring inside um, so you can kind of adjust them, make them comfortable. They're a little bit oversized. They have the, um, the pockets that I added. This, this was not part of the pattern but I did add pockets to these ones because I don't go anywhere without pockets if I can avoid it. And um, if you want to wait till the end of the video I will show you pictures of myself in this cord set. Now the other thing I've been working on is a dress. I had picked up this gorgeous material in Mexico. I don't know if you remember me sharing if you were around back then but when I had my trip to Mexico I had picked up this yardage and I'm excited to say that I'm almost done with this dress for the cruise. I picked out Simplicity 9325. Um, such a cute and easy pattern. And um, it turned out really wonderful for me, except it was a little bit oversized in um, the bodice area. So what I ended up doing is picking out the back and taking in a little bit extra can see right here I just finished taking in a little bit extra I'm going to reattach the lining and it should fit me just perfectly and again I'll have pictures at the end of this video of me in the dress and in the cord set um, 
but I'm really enjoying the goal of making things for my cruise. I still have my green silky fabric. I have not decided yet what I'm going to do with this. And part of it is because I love it so much that I want it to be something that I really love to wear. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, I, I don't know. I think I, I almost feel like I need to put it with another color. Um, so I'm still, I've had lots of suggestions. I'm going back over those soon to um, just narrow down what I'm going to do. But I still have this to work with. And then I pick up another sheet. It's so cute. It's kind of a poly cotton sheet. And my plan is to use um, Simplicity 8178 and make a jumpsuit. Isn't that so cute? Um, I might make a coordinating jacket. I'm not sure if I'll need that in December um, in the Caribbean. It's pretty warm. Um, but for sure, the jumpsuit. And I just think this will be adorable. Let me know what you think, if it's too big of a print for a jumpsuit or what you think. But I think it possibly could be really cute. Um, so this is one of my plans. I did, I did pick up some swim material thrifting. At one thrift store, I found the lime green. And I thought, oh, I love this. I love bright colors. This is going to be so beachy and cute. Um, so... I had the lime green and then at another thrift shop on another day I found this and they go together absolutely perfectly so I want to make myself a, a swimsuit of some kind most likely like a shorty swim skirt and then um, uh, a cups a cup top a top with cups in it so that will be something that will be a little extra work for me and um, I have made swimsuits before, but it's been a minute. So I'm hoping to get this done for the cruise. Wouldn't that be fun? And wouldn't it be so beautiful? Um, so if you have any ideas of patterns for these, let me know. I do like to wear a swim skirt um, because my um, I like to hide my legs a little bit. <laughs> and But I, I will wear like a, a separate, uh, what do you call it, bikini top with that. Now the other thing I found thrifting was this gorgeous curtain. I love it. It's so beautiful and the edges of it are um, scalloped already and I thought this would make such a cute little swim cover-up whether it's a long you know um, sleeved swim cover-up or maybe uh, just a, like a tank top and the little shorties that you pull on over your over your swim bottoms. I'm not sure. Um, I do have something like that that I own already. Um, so I'm kind of leaning toward kind of a longer, um, kind of, um, what do you call it, swim cover-up. But um, I just love this. I think it's going to be really pretty and make me feel really beautiful. In my adventures, um, I, I went to Joanne for their clearance sale, and uh, on their patterns, they had $1.99 patterns. Um, shout out to Zelda Sews for posting that and giving me an update, because my local Joanne's has not been letting us know when they're having sales on their patterns. So I did see it online. I went in the store and asked, and sure enough, they were on sale and there were no signs. So I got this little... Um, workout suit that I want to make. The jacket and the pants. This is Simplicity 9895. I picked up this set with a dolly carrier and doll clothes. Um, I do believe that um, Who's Your Handmade had a video on um, some of these doll clothes that she had made for her daughter. Go check her out um, on YouTube here. She makes really cute baby clothes and clothes for her daughter and herself and um, she inspired me to grab this pattern to sew up for some of my granddaughters and then in light of needing some sewing patterns I found this vintage um, I'm sorry swim patterns I found this vintage swim 
bottoms and top that I thought might be a possibility. And also really loved this vintage wrap skirt for swimming and um, kind of this little boxy cover up. I'm not sure I found the curtain after that and I I'm not sure if this is going to suit the curtain fabric. Not really what I had in mind, but might make one of these out of terry cloth at some point, but just love that skirt and how that swim top seems to fit nicely, has nice cups. So let me know if you've made these. Um, this is Simplicity 8932, 8510, 9903, and 9895. And finally, I do have a pattern that I'm really excited to make. Um, I'll pop a picture up here because I love the concept of this pattern. It's kind of a romper skirt and top um, for the summer and I'm thinking in terms of the cruise. And um, the first fabric I found for those are um, is this um, Eddie Bauer. It's a Lycra cotton fabric, Lycra cotton. And um, beautiful, the beautiful periwinkle, and then in the navy. And while I was at Joann's, they had uh, 50 or 60 percent off of this, which is really rare for Eddie Bauer fabric. So um, I'm kind of excited to make these too. I don't know what I'm going to sew next because I have so many fun things. I'm also working on another bag pattern, a brand new bag pattern for me. So the bag pattern I'm working with right now is called the Slim Bag Bottle. It's similar to the patterns I've made in the past, but it's very thin. It doesn't have all of the big pockets. It's just a slim bag, a lot smaller. I'll show you what I have so far. I've been working on it, and this is the front of it. Um, as you can see, it's this is the main bag, and then this is the you know the the zip for getting inside of where you could put your phone and everything. This is a sling bag. It will fit like this or lower. This is the back of it that I've been working on, and again, it has the zipper and um, opens in with nice roomy spot. Again, I like to put like if I have any cash or things that I don't want to have to get right out, but I want to keep them safe when I'm traveling or anything. I put them in this pocket. You can see on the back how big that pocket is. I've appliqued this butterfly and done some top stitching on it. It says, hello, gorgeous. And I, what I, why I like this zipper back here is because it's against your body. Nobody's going to get into it and, well, you know, pickpocket you or anything. So this is the newest bag that I've been working with and figuring out. Um, and yeah, I've just been having a great summer and a great time and i um, looking forward to hearing about what you've been making, what you've been up to this summer. And I would love any kind of input on what you think I need for a cruise. I've never been on a cruise. Um, what do I need to pack? What should I make? What's definitely something I should sew for the cruise? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. This has been The Sewing Circle.